Hey, welcome to WatchMojo.com. I'm your host, Layla. I'll be introducing Cam Tai Chow, the founder of Lotus Palm Thai Yoga Massage Center, who'll be explaining the foundations of Thai Yoga Massage and telling us the benefits for both the practitioner and the recipient. In the practice of Thai Yoga Massage, in my school, the Lotus Palm School, we have what we call the four basics. The first one is called meditation. So meditation is the art of expanding the space in between thinking whereby you are fully aware of each and every moment, this will increase the quality of your practice. The second basic is stances. Stances are like asanas or yoga postures. By practicing the stances, it will give you a good solid foundation and then you piece the stances together, it becomes a dance. In the diamond stance, your knees are together, your spine is straight but relaxed. This is the foundation of the practice. In the same principle of the diamond stance, but you open up your knees wide, this will give the opportunity of lowering yourself as well as create a bigger foundation where you're more stabilized. And the third basic is um, the rhythmic rock. The rhythmic rock sets the tempo and the rhythm of the practice. The first rock is called the forward rock. Sometimes I like to call this the rocking chair. Bamboo rock, simply rocking from side to side. The third rock is called the whirlpool rock. And the last of all is the art of touch. How do you touch in Thai massage? A Thai masseur would use most of the time their full body by applying the best of their body mechanics. The touch will usually come from an extension from the palm towards the shoulder and the rest of the body. So the four basics are your mainstay, whether you're beginners practicing, whether you're intermediate practicing, whether you're practicing at an advanced level, you should always use the four basics as your reference point.